I got an idea. Now, you have a lot of connections in the music industry. Why don't we just get one of your friends to pretend she's in high school? Here's a list. Oh, Piggy, come on now. You're gonna have one hell of a time trying to get Millie Jackson to pass as a student. <laughs> oh, she's not the only one on the list. What about Shaka Khan? Everybody loves Shaka Khan. You know Shaka Khan? <laughs> Regina, get a hold of yourself. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. You're <laughs> out! <laughs> Lydia, girl, you got skills. Oh, well, thanks. The winking moon turned out great, didn't he? <laughs> What Mr. Hightower means, Lydia, is that you have a beautiful singing voice. Oh, well, I did play Dorothy in the Hebrew camp version of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, okay, listen, I, I got a great idea. How would you like to sing solo for us in the choir competition? You really think I'm that good? Okay. Yes! Little girl, with your voice, we are going to crush Principal Reed. <laughs> I mean, uh, it would be a very rewarding experience for you. Yeah, nice save, Regina. You almost didn't sound psychotic at all. <laughs> well, Lily, what do you say? You in? Okay, but I can't sing any gangster rap. I got grounded for listening to getting jiggy with it. Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite girl singer since Joe seen the pussy game. <laughs> Congratulations on the solo. Thanks. I'm nervous, but excited. I think this is how Streisand got started. I'm glad you mentioned the lovely Mrs. Brolin. I don't think she would have ever agreed to perform without representation. Frankly, I think it was a mistake. And that, that's where we come in. Lydia, this solo thing has caused your stock to go way up. You're popular now. You're as popular as Jennifer, the cheerleader. No. Really? You mean after all these years of torment at the hands of my peers, I could make other people feel insecure and inferior? With us, as your representation, you could get that and more. Miss Greer, well, she's desperate to win this. And you know what that means. Blank hall passes. You get the best table in the cafeteria. I will personally date Jennifer, the cheerleader, and then I'll dump her. <sighs> Lydia Liza Gutman is in. Hello, Lydia. How's our star soloist doing? Before our client sings a note, there are a few details we would like to go over. Your client? That's right. I don't think so. Lydia has already agreed to sing the solo. Isn't that right, Lydia? I'm sorry, Miss Greer. I changed my mind. You'll have to discuss it with my representation. Sorry, Miss Greer, nothing personal. It's just business. Good day. Come along, Lydia. Steve, the worst thing has just happened. What's that, the rebellion is over? You nail lady moved back to her homeland? Worse, Lydia's not gonna sing the solo. Romeo and Bullethead are representing her. They're using Lydia to blackmail me. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> then again, you do kind of have to give them their props. That is kind of entrepreneurial. <laughs> Steve, you promised me you would fix this. I can't lose to Principal Reed. I want to win. I want to go on TV and discuss slavery and makeup with Oprah. You know, Piggy, I used to think your biggest problem was not having a man. But now, mm -mm, it's way, way deeper than that. I'm sorry, Steve. Piggy just want to win. Oh, come on, Piggy, now. Don't start that, giving me them big, sad cow eyes and that little baby voice. Okay, fine. If I have to be a loser again, then I guess that's just the way it is. Oh, Piggy. 
Look, we'll just sit down and work the whole thing out. I'll, I'll just try to reason with him. But what if it doesn't work? <laughs> I'll threaten him. Thank you, Steve. 